Hi there, it's Chris here at Blue Rhino Safaris. Uh, welcome to the website and um, if you are on this specific uh, video, it means you are looking for the uh, Transport Swana Tour 2019. Uh, I just finished it. Now it was uh, advertised for a while, but I haven't actually finished the page itself. So let's have a quick look at it. Uh, Transport Swana next year 2019 is going to be a 11 night tour. So I call it the extended tour. Um, of course, my normal transport to one is just a week, but this one I extended to 11 nights, uh, including a little piece of central Kalari, uh, extra section of the Makari Khari pans that we will be crossing, also a night in Savuti and a night in Lenyanti. Um, so it's 11 nights. Uh, 1st of July is our departure date, or we meet up on the 1st of July. <coughs> Because we are in Central Kalari for two extra nights and we are in Chobi for two extra nights, the price has gone up a little bit. Uh, 1065 open person sharing, and uh, that covers your park fees, your camping fees, uh, the boat ride on the Chobi on the last day, and uh, obviously my costs and my fees. So let's have a look at the tour itself, and you can have a, a good idea of, of what is happening there. Uh, let's go through the itinerary and I will uh, tell you what's happening. So we meet up at Kamarano Sanctuary, it's also a place that everybody knows fairly well and that everybody likes going to. Uh, so we'll see, we see the, the rhino, well we probably will see the rhino down there. We start at Kamarano Sanctuary. Next day onto the Makhari Khari Pans we go to Kubu Island. Kubu Island uh, is the granite uh, the granite island uh, in the middle of the Makarikari pans. So if you want to see a moon landscape, something very unique, um, the biggest combined salt flat in the world, uh, the Makarikari pans, um, if you combine the, the three different pans, which should be, they only have grass islands in between. So it's the big, biggest um, salt pan in the world. We're going to sleep there for the night at Kubo Island. Next day we cross the pans, we go to Chapman's Baobab, Chapman's or Seven Sisters or the, the Seven Lion Tails or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it recently fell over according to the, um, the forums, but um, it is still alive. It, it didn't actually fall over. Um, when you get there with me, I'll explain to you what happened and, and what is busy happening. It's, it's really incredible. It's very interesting if you, if you thought you've seen a big baobab then uh, that one is on its way to be the biggest I guess in the world biggest one I know of from there uh, Chapman's we have coffee there and then we carry on into Central Kalari for two nights uh, in the deception area and we will do the loop um, the full loop on the day uh, covering the Letia Valley uh, Ta Valley uh, Passage Leopard Band Deception uh, and Sunday. So from there, after the two nights, we head up to Maun, we do our shopping, uh, fill up with fuel, and then uh, onto a campsite just outside of the Maremi. It's a private uh, campsite in a concession area, part of the Sanquillo Trust, and we'll be there for three nights. Uh, the first day, we go into their concession area with one of their guides, and we do game driving for the day stop for coffee somewhere it's just really a safari day um, you almost feel like you should have your brown khakis and your safari hat on because it's very much what we do for the day uh, the next day we go into the Moremi itself we'll visit Blackpool uh, we'll do the bridges and make sure that we we cover the the Moremi itself um, I'm not doing the boat ride in the Moremi uh, the, the time just catches us all out every time and um, I'm going to skip the boat ride in the Miremi and rather do the boat ride in Chorby. So after the three nights in um, in the Miremi, we head up further north. We sleep one night in Savuti. I'll take you to the, to the Savuti March, which should still have some water in it. Uh, we will also do the uh, rock art in the area. Look at the Savuti Flats, the Savuti Pan area. Uh, very nice to, to spend a day there. And then from there, the next day, we go up to Lignanti and we spend a night at Lignanti. If you haven't been to Lignanti, then this is your chance. Uh, we go up to the Lignanti, uh, one night there. And then the next day, we go out and we head off to 
uh, Kasane. Kasane, we will sleep for two nights. Uh, campsite has a nice pizza place. Uh, so you can have pizza there. There's restaurant, um, hot showers and everything. Uh, and for the day, we will go into the Chobi, uh, do the river drive and uh, have a look at all the animals and birds that we see on the river on the river drive and in the afternoon the Chobi Sunset Cruise uh, which is included in the price so you will be doing the the park in the morning and then at about 2 30 in the afternoon you do the the cruise which as I say is included if you want to spend an extra day there and visit Vic Falls you're welcome to do that um, but I'm only there for two nights and then I come back to Joburg to carry on with my program and um, that really is it it's um, it's always a nice tour to do. You um, just need a normal 4x4 with low range. Uh, there's some sandy conditions, so we need to, to be able to do the sand. And if you want to tow something on this trip, you're welcome to do that. Uh, bush caravans, bush trailers, they can all work. Make sure it's a bush version, because bush means it's got bigger tires and going through sand is a little bit easier. Uh, if you're towing a bigger caravan, explorer, something like that, make sure that you have a, a strong towing vehicle. Once we go into the sand, it um, can get a little bit tough. Uh, but I've taken three explorers through there before, so it wouldn't be the first one. And that's it. So, um, yeah, join us for for the Transport Swana Tour 2019. It's in July. And um, I moved it a little bit earlier just to get my uh, Zimbabwe trip and uh, a little bit after that so join us if you have a bit of time otherwise make some time cheers